Hi, my name is Chevis Davis. I'm the master artist and the creator of Paint with Faith. We're so excited to have you to paint with us today, but let's tell you a little bit about who we are. We are Paint with Faith, a motivational painting company. We go to different locations and we paint with you and encourage you through art. We believe that you're an artist and we believe that you can do all things and we want you to believe you can do all things as well. And one thing about this very special painting class is that you did one of the hardest things that you can do as a human, which is create another human being. We're so excited uh, for you and your new baby, and we most of all salute you. I salute you. I always say that I'm not man enough to be a woman, and uh, childbearing is one of those things uh, that I'm just not man enough to even do. So I salute you, and we are here to support you with whatever you need in a creative way. And so we always say we're most like our creator when we create and you've done a very amazing thing at this very moment. And so we want to continue in your creativity. Not only that, but we believe that there is no mistakes in art and just room for opportunity. So today you won't make any mistakes. Everything you do is going to be on purpose because our motto is your life is a canvas painted with faith. So as you create a masterpiece on today, we hope that you will create a masterpiece of your life as you move through faith as well. Now, I need you to repeat after me. All right, get ready. If I believe, I can achieve. All right, so with that said, I want you to say it with some real enthusiasm this time. All right, let's try it again. If I believe, I can achieve. Now, sometimes in life, things will get hard, but sometimes you have to look in the mirror and tell yourself and even tell your haters, if I believe, I can achieve so you can move past that very situation. All right, so now the last thing I need you to do is we need to clear the room from all negativity, all right? So if you think something negative, I want you to snap your fingers, all right? Just go ahead and start snapping. So if you think something negative, you're gonna snap out that negativity, all right? If you say something negative like, oh man, I messed up, I don't like this painting, you're gonna snap out that negativity. And then if anybody walk into your space and into your room at this very moment, and say something negative, I want you to snap, snap, snap out the negativity. And with that said, I want you to continue to use that method in your life to snap out any negativity that comes into your space. All right? So remember, your space is completely positive attitude, completely positive space, all right? Positive vibes only when you're doing this amazing paint class. So I hope you're ready, because I'm ready. Let's jump right into this painting. First of all, thanks again for choosing Paint With Faith, and we hope that you have a continued positive atmosphere and creative energy as you go through this class with us. Look forward to meeting you soon. All right, I hope you're ready. If you open up your kit, you'll see you have your canvas with your two brushes in there. We're just gonna crack this open. Go ahead and open yours up. Uh, you have two brushes that you'll be able to use uh, with this. You have one for details and one for large areas. We're going to keep the painting very simple on today in order for you to get the premise. If you're already an artist and you have the creativity, by all means, you can veer off. I'm just a guy and I'm just here to help you get through this process in a creative way. All right. So here's your canvas. I want you to think about the canvas because we believe that the canvas it's called a canvas for a reason. It means you can do it. It's not called a canvas. It's called a canvas. All right. So we know that you can do it. All right. Just say to yourself, I can. With that, you have some painting instructions as well that came with your kit. All right. Your materials. You have a canvas. You have paint, paintbrush, towel, uh, which you'll use to dry your brush off. And you have a plate in case you want to mix colors. Other things you may need is some water. We did have water just in case. And then we want to make sure you have a positive attitude. All right. And then there's some steps and tips. I won't go through that, but I will leave that with you just so you know what to do because I'm ready. And I hope you're ready. We're going to jump right into this painting. We're going to do something very serene, very simple. Uh, we're going to make sure we have a beautiful painting on today. And I just want you to go along this journey with me. So go ahead and crack open your yellow. 
All right, and we'll grab our bigger brush, big brush and yellow. And we're gonna just come across the canvas with a yellow line. Real simple, all right? Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Again, there's no mistakes in art, just room for opportunity. So we're just gonna go through this in a very positive way. All right, so we're gonna fill that to whole top part of the canvas all yellow. All right, the whole top part all yellow, just to keep it simple for you. Again, if you are an amazing artist already, by all means, you can veer off. I'm gonna be a guide for you. There's more creative paintings on our page. All right, so just follow our lead right here. We're gonna make an amazing painting on today. I'll show you some special techniques and they'll help you go through this process a little bit better. All right, so, so just fill that whole top part in all yellow. I like to paint long strokes left and right just to make sure I'm filling up that canvas properly. All right, so just fill that all the way in and boom, looking good. Again, if you're painting a little bit slower than me, that's fine. I am a professional, I've been doing this many years and you know, I paint a little bit fast, but just follow my lead. You can always pause and stop the video make sure you stay on point with it all right so now since i was an art teacher for a long time uh, i like to add special questions or quizzes in my class uh, i hope you like taking tests because that's what we're going to do we're going to test your knowledge so one thing you need to think about what do you get when you mix red and yellow all right red and yellow very good if you said orange i'm going to Say you are correct. If you didn't say orange, uh, I'm gonna ask you to try again. All right, so we're just gonna take a little bit of red and make a red line right across the top. All right, you only need one dip in red. You don't need a line. All right, so red right across the top. And then we're gonna clean our brush off on the towel. We didn't need to clean off the yellow, but there you go. Now we're gonna take this brush that is clean now, and we're gonna blend the red down into the yellow, all right? Now again, we wanna do long strokes. We're gonna bring that red into that yellow and we're gonna to start to make a nice orange color. So we'll see it go from red to orange to yellow. And it's okay if you have some streaks in there, that's fine. All right, if your red is starting to take over, you just take your brush again, wipe it off and bring it back in. With a clean brush and we'll bring that red to orange. To yellow again long strokes all right nice smooth blend all right now in art we call it a gradient but in makeup and hair it's called ombre nails is called ombre so we're gonna have a nice ombre feel and look to this all right you can probably already guess what we're painting but i'm gonna have a nice blend back and forth with that it's looking good very nice you see that it's beautiful all right, if you have water, you can go ahead and clean your brush off. If you don't, you can just use, you know, the towel, just wipe it off. But since I have the water, I'm going to use it. I'm going to close up the red, close up the yellow. And we're going to pop open the blue. All right, we'll pop open the blue. All right, we'll take the blue and we're going to separate the yellow from the white. Gonna make a straight line coming across. Boom, doesn't have to be perfect. Again, no mistakes in art. Just coming straight across with that blue. All right, and we're gonna fill that second half of the canvas all the way blue. All right, again, long strokes. Left and right. Keeping it simple. All the way, all right. Blue is kind of nice, it's very bright. Now blue brings you to a calm atmosphere, all right? So uh, that's why a lot of people like to live by the water. That blueness gives you energy, 
that seed gives you power and it enlightens your mood. You know, most people that live by the water have very calm attitude, calm spirit. And that's actually what water does for us. It has an emotional connection to us. So, so does blue. When I took color theory in college, it told me that blue controls the calm energy. So, now that you have a baby, if you want to have a nice calm baby, you can paint that room blue. Alright, but if you want a very excitable, noisy, uh, bouncing baby, which is not a problem, you can paint that room yellow because yellow is energetic. Alright, yellow is energy. All right, very good. Just gonna fill all that in nice and blue. Nice. If, and you can probably guess what we're painting by now. If not, I'm not gonna tell you. We're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna continue to paint with faith. I'm gonna take our brush. I'm gonna clean it off. All right, nice and good. Dry it on the towel. All right, that's what that towel is here for. Dry it off. And I want to show a special technique um, that I like to do in these type of paintings. I know uh, the background may be kind of wet, but that's fine. I'm going to clean my brush off really good. I'm going to get some white. All right. And I, I like this special technique because I love painting clouds. All right. So I'll do like a hump. All right, then I'll do another one going up, kind of like a hump stairs. Okay, and then we'll do one more. All right, that's good. All right, I'm going to do the same thing, but just two humps on this side, kind of going off in the distance. One and two. Make sure you go up for that second one. All right, now we use a technique called dry brush technique. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dry it off right here. And I'm going to fade those clouds into that orange and that yellow. All right. So I'm just going to go left and right. And my brush should feel dry. That's why it's called dry brush technique. And I'm just going to bring that white into that sky. It's going to give me like a peach color. Just a hint of white on the edge of that cloud. And we'll just fade that in. Real dry brush. Real dry. I'm gonna fade this. The white that we have there is just enough. Alright. Just enough to give us the illusion that there's a cloud. A cloud right there. Now art, I always tell my students, is an optical illusion. I always really want you to feel and believe that it's really there. Alright? It's pretty nice. I like that. Now you see why I love painting clouds. And boom. Nice. Alright, same thing on the other side. I'm just going to take that white and blend it in. I'm just going to hit that edge because it gives me, you know, more texture over there. So I'm going to just pull it right to that edge. I got a little blue in my brush. That's okay. I'm going to just paint it right through. Paint it through. Boom. Nice. Make sure my brush cleaned off. Bring it back. Now, if you're clouds are too light you can always come back with the white all right hit the little edge again do the same step all right don't overdo it with the clouds because we don't want the clouds to be too white because we're working in layers all right we don't want to have the paint to be too wet as we go to the next step so we're just gonna again if you want to lighten it up just add some white and gonna just pull pull right into that texture you hear that sound that's the sound you want to hear when you do it and since I have the white already on my brush since I have a little orange and yellow in there, if you don't know by now, this is the ocean. Uh, we're going to create some streaks. All right. So we're just going to tap and pull. All right. And try to make your lines as straight as possible to get, you know, that flow to make it look like the water is glistening. Glistening all over the water. All right. You want that glistening look. So tap and pull. Tap and pull. Now, if you want to put some waves, all right, and you want to make some curved lines, by all means, I'm not going to stop you. I'm just the art teacher here, just guiding you through the way and uh, just making you, you know, take you through this process right there. So, if you want to add some waves, you want to go up and down, I'm not going to stop you. 
And we're just gonna just tap and pull, tap, tap, tap. And just kind of like snatching it with the edge of the brush. That's what I use, that little edge right there. And I just snatch it. So I put a group and then I just snatch, snatch, snatch. Pull left, pull right. And it gives the illusion that the sun and the light is hitting the water. You get a real sea look. All right, put some more at the bottom. Not a lot of paint on your brush. Just snatch and pull. Very lightly, barely touching the canvas, like you're tickling the canvas. All right, you don't have to be heavy handed with this. So you just want to tap and pull. Tap and pull. Boom, beautiful. Love it, love it. All right, let's take our brush, you're gonna clean it off. Doing good, doing good. Dry out on the washcloth. We're gonna close our white for now. We're gonna pop open our black. All right. So we're gonna take our brush, get some black. All right, we're gonna separate the yellow from the blue. All right, again, if I'm moving fast, you know, pause the video. We're gonna take the black I'm gonna separate, separate the blue from the yellow. It's okay if you get blue in the brush or yellow in the brush, that's fine. As a matter of fact, the black is more powerful than all the other colors, all right? Um, but when I was in high school and middle school art class, we weren't allowed to use black. So you wanna make that line pretty thin. You don't need it too thick, all right? We weren't allowed to use black because it always take over the painting. But because I'm an adult now and I can do what I want, I'm going to use the, the black. All right, so we're going to make very low mountains in the distance. So we're just going to go up and down. All right. Now, if it's easier for you to get the smaller brush and do this, then by all means, you can go do it. But it doesn't have to be mountains. It can be, you know, like trees in the distance or hills. Um, if you're from the Caribbean. You know, anywhere like that, you know, this is what it looks like in the distance. Now, the important part about this is that you don't make all the mountains or things in the distance the same size. All right. So you want to do some very low ones. All right. And then you want to come up a little bit higher. All right. Fill that in nice and solid, too. All right. And then, you know, some very low ones again. And I'm kind of like pushing the edge of the brush up. Just to give it, you know, a textured look, make it look like some foliage in the background, some trees or something that back there. I don't know what's back there, but it's back there. All right, so we got that part. Beautiful. Next up, so when you're painting, just some tips. You always want to work from the background to the middle ground and then to the foreground. So we've done the background. We've done the middle ground. Now we're going to move to the foreground. All right, so we're going to create a little island right here in the foreground. All right, just a raggedy line sitting there in the front. Don't be afraid to paint over your your water and your waves. It's okay. In art, you have to overlap for it to look realistic. Again, like we said, art is an optical illusion. So we're going to make that raggedy line. I'm going to fill it in all black. Fill it in all black. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And you have some white in there to bring some gray to give it a nice, a nice look. All right, no need to color your edges yet. That way you can hold the canvas if you need to. If you want to paint the edges, do it at the very end or wait till it dries. All right, it's looking good. All right, here we go. So now that we have that black there, we're gonna take our brush, all right, clean it off, and let's slide over to our small brush, all right? Small brush. So small brush in black, 
and we're going to continue to go up. We're going to create a nice uh, thin line going up. Boom. Again, don't be afraid to overlap. This is part of the process. All right. Nice thin line going up. And if you were more comfortable with the big brush, that's fine too. But just for the sake of this, and then we're going to create a little width to it. And we're going to go to a point at the end. All right. Line doesn't have to be straight and then we'll fill it in. Fill it in. Again, if it's uh, more comfortable to use the big brush for this step, by all means, go for it. All right, so just go ahead and fill that in. All right, nice and solid, nice and smooth. Fill it right on in. All right, now I want to make sure. You see how we have that spot right there. I want to make sure that we don't have any rough edges. I like my edges to be nice and solid. Boom. Looking good. All right. Now, this is one of the most fun parts for me. All right. You ready? Let's jump into it. So just so you don't get lost, we're going to take our brush and make a dot right here. Boop. Boom. All right. So from that dot, we're going to make these lines, all right? So for one, we're going to make a line going this way to the right, all right? Right curve line. Boom. Very good, very good. All right? From that dot, same dot, we're going to go left this time. Going left. Boom. From that same dot, we're going up. From the dot, going up. Boom. All right, again, from the dot, going up, dot, boom. All right, looking good. The black from the dot, going down, boom. Again, from the dot, going down again, one more, and boom. Beautiful. All right, looking good. I'll give you a minute to make sure that's nice and solid. Obviously, you know that's a palm tree. All right, but for the sake of this step, I'm going to switch back to my big brush because it holds more black on it. And for this step, I want to be able to load my brush. Okay, I'll use that small brush for some more detail. So I'll take from each line and I'm going to pull down. All right, so be careful that you're using the brush the very thin way. If you use it the wide way, you're going to make fat lines, but you want to make thin lines this way. All right, so from the branch, you want to pull down. So down down I do a little curve too nice like little curve boom and I like it to look rough at the end so it looks like the leaves are like that so I'm pulling and I'm curving boom real quick snatch okay we want to give the illusion that there is leaves on this tree so we're just gonna pull and snatch boom all right boom and then we're gonna do that for all the branches so obviously when I pull this way, I'm going to pull the other direction. So I'm coming here again. And I'm going to pull. Boom. And I'm using the wide part of that brush to create that illusion of those leaves hanging off. You hear that sound? Boom. That's what we want. Boom. Very good. All right. Next one. Same thing. I'm going to load it back again and I'm going to pull down. Boom, down, 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 down. Again, if you have your own technique, I'm not going to stop you. Go for it. This is a creative class. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to turn it so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to pull a snatch. And load it this way. Again, I'm pulling in a different direction. Same thing, loading, snatch. All right, last one, load 
and around and then snatching down you can always add more branches you can add coconuts if you want again this is a creative painting so you can be as creative as you want as we said at the beginning you're more like your creator when you create and it's good to use your imagination when you're doing projects like this all right i always say the most powerful nation in the world is your imagination so go for it I'm not gonna stop you i got a nice palm tree there it's looking good now feel free to add a second palm tree if you want uh, just for the sake of show and tell I'll go ahead and make one very quick so again I'll stay with the black also the second option if you don't want to use a silhouette type tree you have green there you can paint it in green if you want that's the second option for you I'm gonna make a little smaller palm tree right here all right and it's okay if those trees overlap the mama tree and the baby tree can represent a new addition to your life. All right. There's nothing wrong with that. Boom. And you can grow together. I know one thing about having children that is if you invest in your children, you'll get a great return on your investment. All right, and that's a business term, ROI. But if you invest in your children, you definitely get a return on your investment. There you go. Same steps. Again, you know the technique, so you can just repeat it. It's okay to paint over the other tree. It's okay to paint over those mountains. All that is okay. All right, you can make your branches smaller. I may mean, kind of wide, but... I'm experimenting here. There's no mistakes in art. Just room for opportunity. All right, boom. Very nice. All right, now you can do this next step with your small brush or your big brush. It's up to you. But I'm going to take and add some leaves in here. Again, I'm using this flat part of the brush. All right, we want the brush to be flat. I'm going to pull these lines up to make it look like some grass is on this island. Um, tall grass, short grass. You want it to look like somebody hasn't come and cut the grass in a long time. All right, tall grass, short grass. It's flying up. Boom. Beautiful. All right. And if you need to do another coat on that black, go for it. You want the grass to be tall, short, going in different directions. Nice wild grass. All right, to, to make that foreground really pop. And we're almost to the end. This is a very fun painting for me to do. I love doing this painting. All right, but we're almost to the end. Again, you can add any other features you want in here. Let me clean my brush off. I'm going to go back to the small one. It's a very special part of the painting. All right. The birds. All right. So again, I'm going to go back to black. Small brush. Black. All right. I'm going to take the small brush. And when I go left and right, when we were kids, we made Eminem birds. All right. We made check mark birds. But I'm going to show you a special paint with faith technique that I use. Let's just start with a little dot. All right. Teeny tiny dot. Let's zoom in so you can see. All right, and then you're gonna pull right and pull left. So you wanna be very delicate with the brush, just using that little uh, tip of the brush. All right, just the very tip. And we're gonna go right and then we're gonna go left. So right, just the tip of the brush. And then we're gonna go left. All right. I use that technique. We do a couple of birds, maybe like three or four. Right. Not a lot of paint on your brush, just a little bit. Left, all right, you can spread your birds out. You make them flying together. It's up to you. Right. Or left and then right. I think we need one more. What you say? Let's get one more out here in the front. Boom. All right. 
Beautiful. All right, so we got those birds flying out there. I love it. I hope you like this painting. I'm really feeling this one right now, if I do say so myself. Now, last part in the painting, if you want your artwork to be a masterpiece, what do you need? Exactly, your signature. All right, so you can use any color you want. I'm gonna sign here at the bottom, don't copy my signature or I will have to charge you and I will find you. All right, have a special set of skills. So you're gonna put your signature down here. So here's my signature. Again, don't copy mine or we'll have to charge you. You can use your big brush or small brush. All right, Chevis Davis, boom. And that's your painting. That is your painting. And I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, this is a motivational painting class. I'm so excited for you to be able to do this with us. I would love it if you would tag us and share it with us on various social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Tag us at, at Paint With Faith and we'd love to see what you did. Uh, to close out this class, we'd like to do our Paint With Faith song. So I want you to join us with that. And you're just going to repeat after me. So, as is our custom, I want you to do the paint with face song with me. You don't have to be a great singer, because I'm not a great singer, so it's okay. But we are going to do the paint with face song together, so just repeat after me. We'll start slow, and then we'll pick it up. You can listen to this song on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Pandora. This is a real song with real lyrics, and I hope you enjoy it. Just after this video, just search the paint with faith anthem on any of those various outlets, even on YouTube. And you can find a paint face song, but we're going to do it here together. So just repeat after me. I know I can paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. We're going to keep it going. I know I can paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. Last time, last time, I know I can. Paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. Good job. I appreciate your time and attention. Remember this beautiful life that you've created. Remember that your life is a canvas painted with faith. And I hope and pray that everything that you want and desire in life is going to happen to you. Remember your life is a canvas and you can paint it with faith if you just believe that you can do it. Our pillars are anybody who can paint with us and create a masterpiece, they're able to do three things. All they need is motivation, guidance, and faith in themselves. We provide the motivation, we provide the guidance, but the faith is on you. And so I hope you're able to achieve any goal, dream, or desire with just motivation, guidance, and faith in yourself. We're looking forward to the next time. Thank you for choosing Paint with Faith.